Don't, don't, don't. A T connector. This project sucks. <laughs> We are legitimate tryhards. <laughs> hey guys. This looks like someone is trying to claw up the wall <laughs> with bloody fingernails. Hey, I'm Penn, and this is my wife, Kim. And this is her DIY wife, Monica. Monica's important because Kim has all these DIY crafts that she wants to do that I could care less about. Monica is super important when we take a perfectly good piece of furniture and they want to tinker with it. Tinker? tinker? I, there's tinkering going on it's here. It's called upcycling. Upcycling. I mean, what's wrong with this thing? It's, it's lovely. It's, it's it's a beautiful piece yeah. of mid-century modern furniture that I found on Facebook Marketplace for a mm -hmm. hundred bucks. Yeah. And this is a cheap way to really upgrade a piece of furniture. Well, that's going to be important because on this show, we decided whether it's worth it, not just with time, but also with money, and also if it's terrible. <laughs> Which this is not gonna be terrible because this okay. is a project that I've done before. I have upcycled a ton of furniture pieces, and actually, this isn't original, so all the like people that freak out about painting wood furniture, this has already been painted just poorly. Yes. So we are gonna do it and make it actually look really good, give it a bunch of style, it's gonna work great in the guest room. What's the vision here? All right, so the vision here is actually pretty cool. We're gonna do a combination of paint. We're gonna paint all of the outside of the foundation of the piece. And then these three drawers at the top, we're actually gonna use peel and stick wallpaper on them. I love wallpaper in my home. I have yeah. it all over my home, but I did not um, apply it. Install it. Install mm -hmm. it. So I'm very, very afraid. Okay, this is peel and stick wallpaper. I mean, okay. if you ever had like a sticker collection growing up, it's literally a giant sticker. I think, is this it no right sticker here? sticker collection? Okay. I had a huge sticker collection, but... So this is it. it. It looks awesome. We got it at Target. I mean, a lot of stores are carrying peel and stick. This is one of my favorite patterns, so yes. I think it's gonna look super classy. I'm excited about this. This is definitely a job for DIY wives, mm -hmm. because I, I'm sure I would screw this up. So have fun. Probably. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are we gonna need? All right. So I think we should start painting first because that's gonna take a minute to dry. It's like perfect temperature out today for drying. So what we'll do before we paint is take the drawers out that we're not painting. Okay. So just these oh, top and three. Business card from the Ramada Inn Ooh. is in here. Yes. <laughs> oh, and it has. Too. This has a <laughs> Marshalls and Marshalls and, and a Pringles cap. So what we'll need is peel and stick wallpaper. Furniture paint, sandy thingies, sandpaper, sandpaper, paint brushes, uh, mini roller is helpful. You'll also need scissors, a tape measure, and an exacto knife or utility blade is helpful for cutting the wallpaper. Someone's already painted this piece for us, so that means they did most of the sanding work because this paint job's holding up. It's just ugly. So all we need to do is a very light sanding. Like we wanna get the sticker off and then any areas that like maybe they have paint drips. So we're just gonna use a sanding block for that. So we're not like actually removing the paint. We're just kind of getting any like residue off. <laughs> and, okay, and now, we, and now we wipe it down. And then we'll wipe it down, yeah. I like to wipe it with like kind of a dry rag. If it's wet, it just takes a little longer. So this will get any of the dust off from sanding. Um, this paint is different than normal paint. So this is actually furniture enamel paint. It's gonna help adhere to the furniture piece better. It's not gonna nick. It's actually gonna have like a hardened factory finish. All right, I think we should use a combination of paint brushes and the mini roller because this is such a flat piece. We'll be able to roll a lot of it. There's not all like grooves and ridges and ornate detailing. So I think it's gonna make our lives easier. Sweet. This furniture paint, it dries kind of splotchy as it's drying, but the finish ends up being perfectly even and smooth. But like right now in here, you can see that like this is starting to dry, but that's still wet. So it looks a little scary for a minute. Trust me, this is a two coat project and the second coat, perfect. Okay. Someone got some paint on the legs that we don't want to paint, so we're just sanding that off. Were you pointing at me? No, nothing. <laughs> but someone did it. I can't see you and I kind of think <laughs> I'm taking the blame for it. <laughs> Don't use your teeth, they're very nice. It's not like Don't use your teeth. I paid for those okay. teeth. <laughs> okay. Uh, just use the scissors and cut the... Oh, this is very here, good duty. Here, All right, let me do it here. Got it. I can do it. That is solid. See? I don't think. 
Here we go. Got it. Got it? Ish. Huh. There was a lid to pop off. Yes. Have a screwdriver handy to help you take the <laughs> lid off. All right. Get the, Get the bleeping wallpaper out. It's seriously like stuck and I don't want to ruin the paper. I don't want to. This shouldn't be the hardest part of the project. But as of now, it, it is. is. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, you didn't cut me. I cut the paper though. <laughs> you did. I cut the paper. That's all right, we'll have extra. Okay, yeah. now that I get it out a little more. You can pull. Let me pull it. Yeah. There we go. Were there directions on how to do that? How to get it open? Yeah, they were inside. Inside, inside they tell you how to do it. Anyway, okay. We're gonna actually flip it over and trace it. So we will go lengthwise, cut it with scissors. So when the internet sees me cutting things with fabric scissors, yeah, it's gonna get ready for the, yes. It's going viral. It's get ready for the hate comments to stream in. Ready? People are gonna be cringing. Can they identify that those oh, are? These are very clearly fabric scissors. Mm. All right. Should we be trying to line this pattern up with the other drawers? So with this pattern paper, we don't need to. But if this were vertical stripes, then you would. Like you wouldn't want your stripes to go like here and then jump and jump, unless that's the lift you're going for. This pattern, we don't have to. Okay, early thoughts. It looks like they are turning the dresser into some sort of anniversary present, judging by, like that looks like wrapping paper that I would put on my mom's 40th anniversary, whatever crappy gift I get her for her anniversary. Sorry, I give crappy anniversary gifts to my parents. So here's the deal with this stuff. It is like a giant sticker or contact paper and it is repositionable. So we wanna try and get it as right as we can, but if we don't and we're like putting it on and all of a sudden we end up like off, we can peel it off and start again. Okay. And here's the thing, what I'm doing is pressing out air bubbles. Okay. All right? That's what you don't want in here, so. Yeah. See how easy this is going? Out. Hold on, it's a little jobby over here. It, we went off, okay, hold on. Wait, we're off. You're backing up a lot. Okay. I'm sorry, sorry. Very panicked. If you lay and press in a small area at a time versus trying to lay the whole thing, it'll work better. We have a little extra. We can fold or we can come back with the blade of the scissors and trim. All right, we have to trace another. If I put it in the corner here, Houston, we have a problem. Um, the person cutting it may have mismeasured. Hmm. So you want to go, you would rather have too much than too little. Remember that part? Yeah. We have too little. Okay, so let's, we can take it off. Yeah, and that's the cool thing about it being repositionable. Try it again. All right, try okay. it again. So I have at least an eighth of an inch on this side overhang. Yeah. So we should be good. I'm gonna let you keep cutting here and I'm gonna, this is ready for the second coat. I'm gonna do the quick second coat. You get these all cut, lay it on top, show me that they fit, then we'll put them on together. Yes, mom. <laughs> so there is some overhang. Then we'll put all of our overhang on one side only so that, that we only have to trim one side. Okay. Okay, wait, we're starting to get a little overhangy. The less you remove it, the less likely you are to get air bubbles. Crazy. Like when we just pulled it up, it kind of gave us a little air bubble. If you can get it right on the first try, do it. You could lay it. If you lay it that way, you can see what you need to trim. Okay. You know, and cut right against the ground. Okay, Ben. You have to cover your <laughs> Okay, if you want to cover your eyes, you can. Okay, Go one, two, moments. three. Over there. Yeah, that looks great. It's amazing. I think it looks so cool. It's, no, like, I'm sorry, like, you know, I don't really know how to judge a dresser. <laughs> like, I feel like you need, a, you need someone who's more of a dresser person to go, oh, but like, yeah. I just don't, like, a dresser is where you put your socks. And your but underwear. it's a pretty place to put it now. I look, this honestly, okay, this looks way cooler than it was when you first brought it here. Like, don't you feel like you'd walk through and throw or like a great store and be like, ooh, cool piece? Yes, I do. I like it. And it looks more like kind of something that's. Shut up, dogs! <laughs>
Okay, secretly, both of the DIYs are dying a little inside because I'm leaning on a freshly painted dresser, but it's not leaving any marks and we're, we're just gonna get over it, right? Because this is helping us with the height. Okay. Just keeps touching it. Okay. okay. Um, so let's go with the three T's. Very excited about this one. We've got time, how long it took, tab, how much it cost, and tips, some things that they learned along the way to make it easier for you. So let's start with time. How long did it take? An hour and 15 minutes with two of us. And I do think that you, it is easiest to put the paper on with two people. So two yeah. and a half total hours. It could take a little longer. We had the most perfect painting weather. If it was a humid day, your paint's gonna dry slower. This was perfect. Okay, let's talk about the tab. And I think we can do the tab of just the redo, not the actual furniture itself, because this feels like something people are gonna do with their existing furniture. Yeah, you right? likely okay. already have a piece around home, you know, so that's, yes, yeah. we won't count that. So the paint was $24, the wallpaper was $30. Okay. So we're saying $54. $54, bucks. I mean, bad. that's really good. Uh, Lots of tips for this one, I okay. feel like. I think that it's easiest to trim it bigger and then use a blade to cut it down to the, the, precise, the precise size okay. as opposed to trying to cut it exactly because I screwed that up. Uh, the other tip is that don't be scared by this furniture enamel paint. When it was drying, it looked like straight up tie dye. Like yeah. it looks scary and really? like, oh, this is gonna be the splotchiest thing, but it's the type of paint that it is and it ends with such a nice even finish. So don't worry about it while it's drying. It's gonna look scary. The weather was on our side today. It mm -hmm. was a little windy. We were not in the direct sunlight, no humidity. So it made it dry very quickly. I have one more tip that we didn't even talk about, but it would be that don't ever lean on your furniture until it's cured for 24 hours. Yeah. So paint looks dry, but it actually has to cure, which is where it hardens and adheres to the surface. If you were to put like a lamp on this or any accessories right away, they would stick to it and ruin the paint job by tomorrow. We're doing thumbs up, thumbs down. Here we go. Three votes. One, two, two three. Yeah! I liked it. I liked it. Uh, honestly, this actually looks really cool. It's a really and, good and, piece. and I think it's gonna really help spruce up the guest room and it's um, bloody claw marks on the wall. Like, I think it's gonna... <laughs> we are changing that room one project at a time. Well, thank you so much for watching. If there's a project you'd love us to tackle, and by us, I mean Monica and I, <laughs> Not pen. Um, yes. you'd like us to tackle. <laughs> us to tackle. Leave a comment. If you've tried this or put it in the comments, we'd love to see how you did. Yeah, we want to see your pictures. You can say goodbye, pen. Bye. No, that's stupid. Bye. Oh my, oh my god. god. See you guys next time. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, don't forget to subscribe for more DIY wives and what other sort of crafts and DIYs should we tackle together? And don't forget, one more thing, follow us over on Instagram.